Hey guys, welcome to For Tutorials. Guys, today I create fingerprint touch ID animation with using Saber plugin. So firstly guys, I create new composition. Guys, preset, I use this one, full HD frame. And duration, I take only 8 second. And press OK. Guys, now I go on project and right click import and import file. Guys, see, this is my image. Guys, I give you this image and my project file. You can download from my website. Link in description. So select this image and import. Guys, select this image. Drag and drop in main com. And right click pre-com this image. And type like logo. And move all attribute check. And press OK. And after that guys, select this logo. And I go to layer. And I take auto trace, select, guys see this is my auto trace settings and press OK, yeah great. And now guys I apply Saber plugin on this image. So select this logo and I go to file, actually effect and video copilot and use Saber. Yes, guys presets, I change this one energetic and change glow color guys i take orange so color code is h i take 25 and s 100 and b 100 okay and guys change intensity i take like 50 and base is good so now i go on customize score and guys take mask layer yeah right and now guys, I create animation. So go on zero frame and mask evolution check. I go to like eight second and mask evolution. I take minus three. Go on back and play. Yes. And now guys, I go to 0 0.10 frame, 0 0.10 and start size check. And guys, start size, I take 0 and I go to like 0 0.20 and start size, I take like 200. Yes, it's more energetic. And again, guys, I go on 0 0.10 frames and start offset check and start offset, I take 100%. Yes, and I go to like. 6 second actually 8 second and start offset I take 0 yeah that's good okay chain guys resolution I take half and play Yeah, that's really good. Okay, so now guys go on like 0 0.20, 0 0.20 and on offset check and offset and and offset take 100% and I go to like 2 second. And, and offset I take 0. Go on back again. One more time. Yes. That's better. Okay. Guys change some render setting. So I go on render setting here. And compositing setting I take add. And alpha mode I take mask core. Yes, great. Okay, now guys, I create dark iron shadow on this texture image. So, select this logo. And guys, one more time, I apply Saber plugin. I go to effect, video go pilot and use Saber. Guys, I apply two Saber plugin. This is my first one. This is my second one. And presets. 
guys change presets take this one portal and change also color guys color i take red and change intensity also intensity i take like 100 and change glow like 0 0.3 30 and customize go 30 guys now customize go and i take layer mask yes i create animation guys small animation so mask evolution check and i go to 8 second and mask evolution take minus 3 yes and guys this one start size i take 200 yes great so again guys i go to render setting this one and compositing setting add and alpha mode take mask core yeah that's really good right guys so you can change this frame resolution i take full yeah guys see this is really fire animation fingerprint fire effect and now guys i apply background and some particles so go on project right click import and import file guys see this is my optical light actually this is my background so import select and down yes one more time guys right click import and import file so go on here particles select only first frame and import select drag and drop in main com yes and guys change this mode i take add yeah yes guys select this particle text and duplicate the shortcut command is control d go on here yeah so back and play right guys this is my final animation and guys little bit take some color correction also so stop and go on main com right click new and i take adjustment layer select this adjustment layer and i go to effect and preset type curve select this curve apply on adjustment layer and adjustment layer go on up smaller and here yes yeah that's really better see guys this looking really fingerprint iron effect right and now guys i go to render setting so stop compositing setting and add render queue check yes and i take quality i take best and output mode guys this is my format i take jpeg sequences this one and press ok this is my output go on desktop and save and render guys see this is my final render right so guys this is my final animation is finished so if you like my video please share and guys subscribe my youtube channel thank you